Well, <clears throat> don't want to start a ruckus in the family. But here. Come on, buddy, get up. I want to show you something. This. 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 Let me see if I can get it up there enough for y'all to read. This is the Veterans uh, Department of Veterans Affairs. These are all Carl's records, all of Carl's military records, all of his medical records that he was in the military. I have everything. So yes, Carl was in Vietnam. Vietnam. That's where he went. And yes, his dad signed for him at 16. No, he wasn't in high school. I think some people have short memories. He was down here in Arkansas in the Job Corps. That's where he was in the Job Corps in Arkansas. He decided he wanted to go into the service. He wanted to go into the Navy. I'm sure Jimmy would have preferred him going into the Air Force. But anyway, I think... See, Jimmy was such an honorable man. I think he could see in the foresight that this would have, was the best thing for Carl. Because he was drifting. He wasn't going to school. He dropped out. And he was on the Job Corps. And he was drifting. He needed stabilization in his life. And I think Jimmy was the smartest one of the whole bunch that he knew, he knew within himself that it would be for the betterment of his son. And since his son wanted to go, since that's what Carl wanted to do, as a loving, kind, gentle father, he went on ahead and signed the papers. Because he is a military man himself. Nothing wrong with that. I wish I'd have got to met him. I got to talk to him on the phone before he passed away, but I wish I'd got to met him. Because the way Carl talked about his father to me all the time, he talked about him as being one of the most honorable, respected men. I believe he was. I really believe he was. Now this may make the family mad, but I don't care. I really think Carl has got the biggest qualities of his dad. The gentleness, the kindness, and the maturity that finally come. And I think it was all a mix of a lot of things. And one of the things when Jimmy signed those papers for him to go into the military that he chose to go into, I think that he did his son a mighty blessing. Because it gave him the stability that he needed. I think that gave him what he needed to learn in structure. I think it gave him a lot of things. And no, I'm sorry that he had to go to Vietnam and see what he said. And when you said, 
that he couldn't have been in the in Vietnam because it's already ended. No, you're wrong. He was in the very last part of the Vietnam War. But you're wrong. Do you think that um, the government gives you a check, a VA check, for no reason at all? I mean, do you all really think that? Uh, come on. You're part of a military family. Do you do you all think that? Do you do you believe that? Well, how's he getting it? Because all of these documents prove that he was there, prove the incidents and things that caused the hurt and the pain, caused everything to go down, and he's a hundred percent seventy. So he gets a hundred percent check. That is $3,017. You know what? You don't get that if you've never been over over there. You just don't. What happened over there wasn't good. It wasn't good to any of the men that had to go. Even to Jimmy when he was there. I know that Carl loved his dad. I knew that from the day one. And I know that some of you got mad I said the truth about David and Charlie. They were ornery to their wives. They were. I mean, I could lay you out detail by detail of what some of what they some of the things they they did that caused their de divorces, but I, I don't want to do that because it's nobody's business. But I'm just telling you that Carl has never been mean to me. In 34 years of marriage, will soon be 35. In 2015. We've had our ups and downs. We've had our strifes. Uh, yes, Carl went to prison. I mean, you said that I said things about uh, about David and Charlie and not saying anything. Yes, Carl used to, I mean, he was around her and he went to prison. Best thing that ever happened to him. When he come out, he come out changed. But see, you all don't realize that because you didn't want to be associated with him anyway. He was always the outcast in the family. Always. And you know, that's all right. Because you know what? We don't care anymore. I just don't want you all calling him anymore. No more. No phone calls. No nothing. Stop it. I'm not going to have it. I mean, you all talk about the things that's going on with you. Well, the cancer on Carl had come back, and he's going to have to go get it taken care of. And you know what? He'll survive. He'll survive, and he'll be fine. But I know that don't matter to you guys. It's all about you guys and what you are going through and what you may be having and all of that. It's fine. But I'm going to brag on my husband anytime I want to, and anyhow I want to. I'm not trashing the rest of the family. I'm just telling it how it is, and I'm telling the truth on how it is. If you can't take it, so be it. Get mad. I'm saying this. But you leave my husband alone. You leave him totally alone. He's my husband. He's my knight in shining armor that took care of me and was there. Never was abusive. Always loving and always kind. And yeah, he did things when he was growing up. He did things when he was younger. Yes, he got in trouble. Yes, he went to prison. Oh my. Well, there was things that David did that he should have went to prison and he got away scot-free. 
That's just the truth. You know, Carl used to drink. He quit. When he quit, he quit. He don't drink no more. He don't take drugs anymore. He don't do any of that stuff anymore. When he went to prison and he got out, it was over with. It was over with. And I don't care if that makes David mad. I don't care if that makes Charlie mad. I don't care if that makes Carl's mom mad. I don't care if that makes Bridget mad. I just don't care. You're not part of our lives. And we don't want you part of our lives. Ever. Period. And I'm sorry to the young ones. But there's a lot of things that went on. That the young ones in the family don't know about and you all lie to them about but you know they're yours they're down there you take care of them but this is my channel my video and don't you ever call my husband and bawling him out about what I said because it ain't going to do you no good and in fact, I'll take the phone away from him and I'll tell you off and I'll hang up on you. Because you know what? I'm sick and tired of you. I'm sick and tired of what David did up here. He still got a warrant for his arrest up here. If he ever comes back up here, they're going to arrest him. Oh, well. You get in trouble, sometimes you got to pay for it. That's what Carl did. And he did it like a man. And he come out okay. And Carolyn, if you think your two boys are so precious and you run down this one up here who has always loved you and you would call him and bawl him out and he would cry because you were his mama. No, you care about your other three, but you've never cared about Carl the way you've cared about them. Ever. I've never seen it. In 34 years, I've never, ever, ever seen it. I've never seen you give Carl the respect you give to them other two. So, I'm tired of this family. I'm tired of y'all. You may say what you want to say, but I know the truth. You all don't know nothing. He gets a good check. We survive quite well, and we do not need you. Paul would love to have you in his life. If you give him any type of respect, but you never have in all these years I've been married to him, and it don't seem like you ever will. So you're no longer in our lives. We do not need you. That's the thing. We do not need you all. And talk about me trashing the other family. You have all trashed Carl all his life and put him down. When he's far better man than you all will ever be. Period. Whether you like it or not. That's the truth. Get mad. Stomp your feet. Scream and threaten to come up here and do something about it. Come up here and I'll have you everyone arrested. And I am telling you the truth. I'm tired. Unless you can call Carl and speak to him in total respect that of the veteran that he is, then don't ever call. Period. Bye.